Um, all right, we are live. Okay, Sun Roman here, the truth of the manosphere, back at it again, later than expected, and uh, it looks like it's, it's, it started to rain, so I may end this stream immediately, but I don't know, man, it depends. I got no, I got no shelter. I got no shelter, I got uh, no um, jacket or anything, man. This place absolutely sucks. You know, like I said, I, I could go into a coffee shop if it starts raining. But then people are going to hear what I'm talking about, though. That's the problem. I, I don't want people, like, to hear what I'm saying. What I'm saying is not really accepted, you know. Is that oofy doofy? Oh, no, no, no. I don't know. Anyway, that's beside the point. I thought that was... I think that guy's disabled. But, um... This would never happen... Listen, man, stop the troll comments, okay? I'm, I'm trying to do this quickly, so... Yeah, um... I'm just... I don't even know whether if there's any point starting. The rain is coming very low down. It's not like... It's like one drop here and there. So, um... That's the thing, but anyways, yeah, I want to talk... I want to just give a quick intro, a quick little intro about uh, what's coming. So, you know, I, I'm trying to keep these live streams shorter. Okay, this will be my final live stream of the of the month. Okay, it'll be my final live stream of the month. Um, so that's fine. I'm gonna try do some videos. I'm gonna try and do videos on um, what's his name? Um, Just James. Two. I got two coming on Just James and the one on the Oreo man, and that should round me out for the month so I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet okay so let's get into it let's talk about this glamorization of losers where did I get this idea from a number of things actually uh, it's more like glamorization of loser jobs you know we got a lot of loser jobs coming out here loser job loser job loser jobs and here's the thing right here's the thing this is now being glamorized in the mainstream. It's now being viewed as glamorous. It's now being viewed as a good thing to work or lose a job. Okay. Now this is being spearheaded by a guy called um, on YouTube and TikTok. He's called Milad. Milad or Milad Subway guy. You must have heard of this guy, right? This guy is working a loser job, okay? He's working a loser job in Subway, okay? He's working a loser job in Subway and um, he's basically... He's basically um, showing what he does in Subway, okay? Now, is it bad to work in Subway? Well, for him, he said he's doing it because his parents, right? His parents own a Subway franchise and that's why he works a loser job in Subway. Because his parents own a Subway franchise. Now, is it, you know, why do I have a problem with this guy? Because he's saying to people it's a good job, okay? You can work wherever the hell you want. But he's saying to people that this is a good job. Okay? He's literally telling people, yeah, yeah, this is a good job. And he's being paid handsomely on YouTube to tell people it's a good job. I checked out, I went on the YouTube, uh, sorry, not YouTube, I went on the website, like a job search website, right? To see how much these people are making. These people are making minimum wage. I'm talking about they're making 18k a year. 
you know, for 50 hours a week work. 80K a year, okay, for two hours. No, for 50 hours a week work. That's what he's making, okay, to work in Subway. So at the end of the day, man, you're still on minimum wage. Whether you say, oh, yeah, I had this fun story. This person came in and said that. This Karen came in and said that. Ha, 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 it's so funny. He's trying to glamorize it. And it's not just him. People working in McDonald's, people working in ice cream shops. Loser. Loser jobs. Telling us that this is a good way to make money. When it's not. It's a retarded way to make money. You know? Yeah, if you're a young guy. Yeah, if you're a young guy and you're, and you're making minimum wage, what's the reason why you're working in the minimum wage? That's the thing. What's the reason working there? The only way I can justify working a low-end job is actually if okay if you are using that minimum wage in order to supplement a main income so a, either you're using it to supplement a business you're trying to get a business off the road or you're doing it to fund your education there's a lot of people losers working minimum wage jobs and they're doing it as like a that's their only option. They don't have any plan in mind. Just James is the guy. Just James is a perfect example of exactly what I mean. And the funny thing is, Just James is, is now pretending that he's making good money. He's now pretending it. He's saying that, oh, I'm making good money. This Just James said, I make good money now. He said that in one of his videos, he made good money. He's lying, obviously. But that's the point. He's lying. And he's pretending that he makes good money. When in actuality, he's making 8 to 10 bucks an hour, which is minimum wage. And I know why this is being done. These guys' channels are not organically grown. They know the state of the economy and they know what's happening with the economy and they know that these loser jobs people are going to go for them out of desperation so they're trying to glamorize it and basically say somebody started a fire bro what is this person doing anyway so yeah they're they're they know that their um is coming to an end you know they're there's there um the job market okay the job market is changing man and a lot of these jobs are going to be because of the pandemic because of the economic depression a lot of these jobs are going to be gone like dan penny said entire industries are going to be forever gone forever you know that's the reality and because of that, there's always going to be a McDonald's, there's always going to be a KFC that you can flip burgers in until they turn that into robots. But th they're still going to be so, they want you to, they want to put you there and tell you that, oh, uh, you need to now work. There's people playing cricket, bro. Can you guys play cricket? Yeah, so that's the thing. They want you to work these loser jobs because they want to now glamorize it and say, look, look, McDonald's is not a bad job. Look, it's fun. And they're using these people. These guys are being paid handsomely to do the work. It's not organic YouTube and TikTok. This TikTok, you know, it's not organic, man. That's the thing, what you got to understand with these guys. Their channels are not organically grown. They are propped up and promoted by the system man that's the truth these are not authentic and organic channels you got this one guy flipping ice cream doing some 
uh, chop chop fold you know f throwing ice cream and making it sound cool like oh look we throw ice cream into cups at work these guys are shields they're being paid to glamorize this loser minimum wage job minimum wage is a life of subjugation humiliation and uh, ultimately you know i mean look at look at exactly what oreo man said oreo man said he met his friend working at zaxby's okay zaxby's he met his friend working at Zaxby's. What happened to his friend? He killed himself. I'm not saying if you work minimum wage, you're going to kill yourself. But that's a prime example, though. And I'm going to make a video on Oreo Man. Like I said, he killed himself. He was working at Zaxby's. I checked how much they make at Zaxby's as well. Minimum wage. That's the future. Depressed, lonely. Do you think if that guy was doing well, he would have killed himself? No. He killed himself because he was at the bottom of the food chain. Because he was poor. He was a low-tier man. And these guys are making money off of telling you to, to, to work or lose a job. It's like, they're worse than that. You know, we talk about Dan Locke and, you know, nobody else will expose these kind of frauds like him. And, you know, they'll try to make it out like these are authentic people just doing a job. No, they're not. You can't get to um, that blow up that big on YouTube without YouTube promoting you. It's impossible. It's impossible for you to blow up that much. These TikTok creators are fake. You know, you think these people like uh, Demelio and uh, Poe Arch and all these people. These people aren't authentic. These people have been propped up by the system. And they're probably already, you know, well known to the system. Or at least a segment of people who's in, in, in social media, man. Like, let's not kid ourselves here. It's like what Dan Pena said, man. The loser, the, the failure is a bigger story than the success nowadays. Look at Just James. Just James isn't a success, but the fact that he got 2 million views off of talking about how he can't get laid. You know, now a, a guy, if a guy makes a video about how he's been married for 40 years, he's not going to get 2 million views. But a guy talking about how he can't get women in 30 years, he gets 2 million views. Because in today's society, they're promoting you. And Just James didn't get those views organically either. He got those views because they're promoting you to be a loser. This is what people don't understand. The same thing with that other loser who looked like Jar Jar Binks, uh, never give up. He got millions of views for being a loser because they want to promote be a loser, be a loser. That's what we're seeing in today's culture. They're not even promoting uh, business anymore. They used to promote the Ty Lopez. And when, when's the last time you saw Ty Lopez? I'm not saying Ty Lopez is legit, but I'd rather listen to Ty Lopez than listen to Just James or, or this stupid subway worker. Who at least there's some truth in what that guy is saying. At least there's some truth in People say Dan Locke's a scammer, but there's some truth in what Dan Locke is saying though. These guys, there's no truth because if I work in some way, I'm finished. Is there's no, there's no, there's no way about it. I'm finished if I follow these guys. So that's the thing. These are not authentic creators, and they need to be called out. People need to see through the deception that's coming here. You don't get that big on YouTube just for nothing, All right? I think I've said what I need to say about that topic. The rain is not coming down heavy, so that's okay. Let's have a look at a few of these comments. I'm not going to look at all of them. Most, is it more people going for loser jobs good for us? Well, yeah, because they're, they're, not, they're not competition. That is good for us. They're not competition. Most people cope. Well, most people can cope if they want. Uh, I hated Subway, that job was hell. Worked there one year. And why did you work in the Subway? Why? Why did you work in the Subway? Was there a re valuable reason to work in the Subway? Because like I said, when you're working minimum wage, you know, and most people do hate working minimum wage because it's the lifestyle that you live working that thing. You can't have your own place. You're sharing houses with other people, you know. You're not empowered. You're, you're living a life of embarrassment. Most people are embarrassed. And then we've got these people say, oh, it's an honest, you're making an honest living. Okay, you're not selling drugs. 
Good for you. Is that your goal in life? To not sell drugs? To not do armed robberies? Or you're making it on? Come on now. That's another cope. Like, like he said, most people, that's another cope. No, I'm making an honest living. But stop, stop this. Stop it right now. I said his parents own the shop. You're not listening? I said that already. No, I'm not wearing headphones. I'm just using a mic. How do I deal with loneliness? I have no friends. I'm 17 old. I'm 230 of semen retention. I try my progress in life while having depression. Listen, and first of all, congratulations. Um, I recommend you to watch Dan Pena. Just go to YouTube, put Dan Pena friends. You'll see why you don't need friends. Bill Gates has no friends. Not saying he's a good guy, but he's very successful. Steve Jobs had no friends. He says stuff like that. Way better than how I say it, though. I do pick up in self-improvement. Go away from Red Bull, Black Bull, Mixed Out. I don't believe in Red Bull, Black Bull anyway. Mixed Out, the real Mixed Out is actually true, but not this fake Mixed Out of I'm going to go home and, and watch uh, TFM and then fap to a, a sex doll. That's fake Mixed Out. That's the Mixed Out that... That the elites want you to believe. You know? The real MGTOW is actually... You know who's a real MGTOW? Hobo Traveler. Hobo Traveler is a real MGTOW because he's still not married. Even though he, he said he would get married. The guy's like in his 60s. He's never been married. And his passion is traveling. And he's, he's the most... Longest reigning digital nomad. He's been doing digital nomad since the name before digital nomad even existed. He's been doing it like 20 years now. Been to over 100 countries. That's a real mixta, not these fake mixta. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to make videos about women. I'm starting a blog and YouTube channel to help other men. And that's what we should do. That's what we should do. Okay. I think that's enough comments now. Um, I'm eating some stuff. Yeah, I am. I can't not eat for that long, I mean. Well, I can, but... All right, so let's talk about fame and fortune. What you guys want to hear, right? How are you going to get famous? Any of you guys trying to become famous? Really? Any of you guys seeking fame and fortune? Or are you just pretending? Are you really seeking Fame and fortune, are you pretending? I'm seeking fortune. I'm not pretending. Maybe a little bit. You know, because we all got our flaws, we all got our weaknesses. Maybe a little bit. Maybe I'm pretending a little bit. But for the most part, I'm not pretending. You know? I'm not pretending to, to be poor or pretending to, be, um, to, to want to become rich. You know, Dan Pena said, I'd rather die than go back to being poor again. A lot of people are not willing to do what it takes to be. I've mentioned this so many times. A lot of people aren't doing what it takes to become rich and, and successful. You know? So, how are people getting famous nowadays? Generally, there's different ways. But outside of being the next LeBron James, outside of being the next Justin Bieber, outside of being the next Elon Musk, <laughs> um, outside of being those things, 
okay, outside of being those things, how are people getting famous nowadays? We call them influencers. Influencers, okay? They're part of every community. Whether you're into the entertainment space, movies, TV, video games, whether you're into fitness, for the women you have hair and makeup, beauty, uh, you have uh, food, everywhere. Influencers, they're in every single category that you can find. How do they make their money? They make their money off of affiliate marketing, brand deals, and then just, you know, typically views, sponsorships, things like that. That's how they make their money. Um, see, the thing is, if you want to get fame and fortune, you can get fortune first and then fame, or you can get fame and then comes to fortune. Right? Now, I've talked about this in my video, which I removed that um, you have to basically do a certain things to get big on YouTube. If you want to really be respected in a space, first of all, you have to have the, the correct personality. And that's where a lot of people are going to fail. They don't have the personality, they don't have the charisma to engage an audience, to make an audience feel, because when a brand is looking for a person to promote, they're looking for somebody who really can connect with an audience, really can sell the product, you know. That's what a, a brand really wants uh, you to do. And if you have a, a personality that's unlikable, just James hiding in my room, especially Monday, FA Monday, you can never become famous. Um, these guys can never become famous. If you destroy your reputation and build up a group of people who hate you, aka the Jubilee incel fat pig that went on that SGW channel, um, you no, know, you're not right. There are people who've talked about becoming famous on this channel. You may not want to, but there's people, and remember, this channel is going to go out to everybody. It's not just the 11 people in the chat right now. Don't be ignorant. So anyway, um, you took me off track. What was I saying? So yeah, that fat pig who went on that Jubilee channel, he, he, he could never get famous because his reputation, 2 million people have seen him confirm on YouTube that he is an insult. And same thing with just James. Same thing with Kentry Brown. Kentry Brown wants to become a professional wrestler. If Kentry Brown got signed to the WWE, which he never would, but let's just say in a, in a different world, he got signed to the WWE. What would happen? He would get fired because of what he said in the past about women. You need to have a clean reputation. When you put your face on camera and say certain things, it can ruin your reputation. So you've got to have a clean reputation and you really got to be uh, charismatic. If you have autism, it's over for you. Not always, because there's one guy with Asperger's syndrome. I mean, he, he, there are guys with Asperger's syndrome who've succeeded, Ice Poseidon and some other, but there was one guy, uh, he does, he does eSport commentary. He actually said he had Asperger's. When he said he had Asperger's, I was shocked because the guy really, really presents himself very well. He's a great speaker, he's intelligent, and he knows what he's talking about, and he studied the, the craft of gaming. But the thing is, you got to be knowledgeable, you know. you got to be knowledgeable. A lot of you guys don't have any knowledge about anything. That's why you're poor. How can you attain wealth when you don't know anything? If you're working a minimum wage job like Just James, uh, parcel sorting, you're a loser. And, and why do we pretend like that's not a loser? Why, why do we lie to ourselves and act like these guys are not losers? They're losers. There's no need to pretend. We need to stop. We're in this culture where people are pretending 
that they're not losers. They say, oh yeah, I'm doing an honest living. Oh yeah, the system, this. You're like, just put your hands up and say, you know what, I'm a loser. I'm a loser and my parents are losers too. Like we, we are in this, this, living in this world where people don't want to admit the truth about why they're in the position that they're in. It's not the system, okay, because the system didn't stop the other people. Now you'll say, oh yeah, these people, um, you know, they'll say Steve Jobs copied whoever and this and that, you know, it's all excuses. It's all excuses, man. Stop making excuses for your failure. And they got that from their parents, man, because their parents were coping. Their parents were telling them that, oh, you know, son, this is a system. We have to work these jobs. We have to work these loser jobs. No, you don't have to work loser jobs. No, you don't. No, you don't, man. Gary Vaynerchuk was stuck in shelves at 25. I believe so, if I'm, if I'm correct in saying that. Gary Vaynerchuk changed his life. Gary Vaynerchuk got fame through fortune. You think Gary Vaynerchuk can't do whatever he wants in life? You think he can't? Of course he can because he's worth hundreds of millions, you know? That's why. Because he's worth hundreds of millions. A lot of you guys are worthless people and you sit there trying to convince yourself that you're worth more than what you are. So these people who get fame, right? They put in a lot of time. You look at guys at Linus Tech Tips. Linus Tech Tips is probably the single most influential man in the entire tech industry. Outside of the, you know, the uh, big cats who are actually creating, uh, an, or, you know, like the CEO of NVIDIA or something like that. But, you know, Linus Tech Tips is making a ton of money. He's making a ton of money because he's got a good charisma about him. He's likable, which a lot of you guys are not likable. That's why you're going you're gonna to struggle. Now, I know some people say, you don't have to be liked. Yet, if you are tough as nails, ruthless, hardcore businessman like like Steve Jobs, like you see, there's different sides of the coin, guys. There's different sides of the coin. It's not just one side of the coin. Yeah, if you're Bezos, Marcus Brownlee. No, Marcus Brownlee is more like phones. Marcus, Bra I'm talking about PC tech. I'm not talking about phones. Yeah, for phones, Marcus Brownlee number one, no doubt. But tech Lin Linus doesn't do phones. PC. Linus is untouchable. <laughs> Linus is untouchable, and that's the thing. But he put the work in. You go to him. He's, you go to his Reddit. People are kissing his ass on his Reddit, saying, "Oh yeah, yeah, we love this guy." You go to the Reddit of hiding in my room. Not one person on hiding in my room Reddit actually likes him. He's hated. That's why he can't become famous. You know. You look at hiding in my room. He started traveling before Harold Balder, before Bold and Bankrupt. What's the difference between hiding in my room, Bold and Bankrupt, and, 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 uh, and Harold Balder? First of all, Harold Balder and Bold and Bankrupt are likable, number one. Number two, those guys have good presentation, and they have, uh, they're, not, they're marketing their videos to the masses. Hiding in my room created a channel for, for incel with Japanese fetish, okay, and sex pats, and there are some women on there, and those women are, have a Japanese fetish as well, they're not normal women, these are not, you know, if you've got a sister, ask a sister if she knows who Hiding in My Room is, she doesn't, Hiding in My Room, the women on his channel are weird, mentally ill women with Asian fetish, and not the Asian fetish women that are educated, they're not watching him either, because they wouldn't touch a, a guy like that with a barge pole, the women, the weird women with Asian, like Mila, like Mila, Mila was a, was a sex, sex worker, thanks for the other guy who told me in the last stream, Mila was a sex worker in Japan or Korea, he said, a sex worker, these are the kind of women that watch it, so his channel was dead from the beginning, I knew it was going to die, because you can, you, when you're marketing a channel to sex tourists and people with Asian fetish or Japanese fetish, you, you, you have no chance of ever making money off of that, there's no way you can ever make money off of that. I'm not comparing bold and bankrupt to hiding in my room. I'm saying hiding in my room wants to be bold and bankrupt, but he can't. I'm not saying, why would I compare? You know, I hate hiding in my room. Why would I compare him to that guy? Bold and bankrupt is a likable guy. 
he's a likable guy and he, he actually and the thing is hiding in my room learn Japanese bull and bankrupt learn Russian but bull and bankrupt he's not an incel like hiding in my room he's getting women out there in Russia half his age you know he can't get those women out in 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 in, in, in Britain he can't you know no offense to bull and bankrupt I like bull and bankrupt but he know he know what the deal is even though it looks good for his age it doesn't matter women are still ageist in the west but that's beside the point but what i'm saying here you look at somebody like david bond david bond is the number one sex pat the number one on youtube his channel is still dead even though even though david bond is you know he's i hate him but he's okay intelligence he's not a retarder like hiding in my room okay but the thing is with David Bond is that his channel is so sleazy and so sex party, it's not going to appeal to the masses. David Bond had the, 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 the ability, okay, to create, he has good presentation. His presentation is top notch. But the, the issue with David Bond, he could have been up there with the likes of uh, Bond and Bankrupt and Harold Balta, but he's not likable. He's very sleazy. People don't like this kind of sleaziness. Uh, you know, you're a sleazy sex pat going to different countries. It's not that, that's never going to last. You know, you can't make real money. You can't get real fame off of that. You can't. So a lot of people need to realize where, where they are. You got people, oh yeah, I'm going to be a rapper like Blue Sky Media. Blue Sky Media had no connection. He was a loser in New York. He's not 50 Cent. He's not a criminal on the streets. Jay-Z sold drugs. Uh, 50 Cent got shot nine times in the back or wherever the hell he got shot. This guy thinks he can compete with 50 Cent. Some five foot six pipsqueak, uh, you know, guy dressing like, you know, the way he dresses. He's not going to compete with 50 Cent, bro. And he's came up the same. I think he's a bit younger than. How old is 50 Cent? I know he's younger than Jay. How old is 50 Cent? Like over 40? Um... Who's from New York and that's rapping? I, I can't remember. 50 cents a bit before him. Who's from New York that's rapping? Some of you guys know about rap. Uh, not 50 cents. Like a guy who's in their 30s that's the same as him. He can't compete with them. Like Blue Sky Media was deluding himself that he's going to make fame and fortune. He's not likable. He has no connection. He has no skill even. He, like the guy's music is terrible. He, he can't even rap on the beat. It's terrible. And like you're deluded, people delude themselves into believing they're bigger and better than what they are. You know, like we need to accept what, 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 what we are and where we stand. Oh my God, the rain is coming down like crazy. 50 Cent is 45. Okay, so that's a lot older than Blue Sky. In the, in the music world, that's a difference of nine years. I think Blue Sky Media is 36. Who's, who's in their 30s in... in, in uh, uh, in in hip hop, I don't know. Ka not Kanye West, he's old as well. I don't know, but this guy, he's not like you. L just listen to the people who are making the music and listen to Blue Sky Media. He's making a style of music that's not even popular, and he's like, how are you gonna get famous? You're making a music that's not even popular. How is that like? That doesn't even make any sense. He's making some weird style of hybrid music. I never even heard this. And oh yeah, it's cool to me. Like eh, Blue Sky Media, he's retarded. He goes to the. I just thought of one. Uh, uh, Drake, Drake. Okay, Blue Sky Media is at this party, right? This is how retarded he is. He's at this party and he's talking about how I'm a rapper. And then he, the girls say, I listen to Drake. He say, Blue Sky Media say, Why would I listen to Drake? And Blue Sky Media, his autistic brain, he got offended that that girl listened to Drake music and doesn't listen to his. He got offended at that. Even when he was dating another girl, he got offended that that girl liked this type of, type of music. He want, he's so like crazy delusional. He want women to listen to his style of music, which nobody listened to. Like, that's the thing. These guys are delusional, bro. You know, you gotta make your music like mainstream. You gotta make your music that's appealing to the kids. If the kids wanna listen to, uh, what's that guy? I must, uh, I can't do any of this. What do he say? Uh, that guy with the tattoos on his face, Takashi. What do he say in his in his songs? Uh, I'ma kill you, something, something. I don't know. I heard it before, but 
you know, all that fake stuff. That's what you have to do. You know, like Blue Sky Media talking about he's an incel, he can't get laid, and thinking he's going to make me. Like, what is that? And he's rapping all this stuff. Like, he's stupid. I mean, these guys are never going to get famous, bro. Talking about why you need to be, um, basically, what, why you need to be likable or you need to be relevant. A lot of people, you know, they're deluding themselves. Have I ever got stream sniped? Yes, by YouTube themselves. So, you know, YouTube is one way to get fame. I mean, it is the way that people are doing it nowadays through social media. And, you know, it's got nothing to do with looks. You look at the music industry, you know, people, you know, these, these, these guys, let's, let's talk about looks for a second. Looks. The people in the, you know, Blue Sky Media will tell himself, oh, I'm not famous in the hip-hop music because I'm not a good-looking child, right? He'll tell himself that I'm not famous in the YouTube scene because I'm not a good-looking child. Let me tell you something, right? Let me tell you something. Most of the guys in music are ugly or average, you know? There's very few good-looking chads in the music industry, very few. I mean, this guy, this guy who they, the kids talk about, uh, they, uh, this guy that sells a lot of sneakers, uh, uh, Travis, Travis Scott is not a good-looking chap, or Tyrone. Uh, you know, Ed Sheeran is a oofy doofy. Uh, you know, Louis Capaldi is a oofy doofy. So, what are they talking about? Looks. Looks have nothing to do. We're not women. See, women, you need to be good looking to be famous in music. You know, Ariana Grande or, or uh, back in the day, Britney Spears. But men, it's not the same thing. Men can be very unattractive physically and still be popular and liked. You know, Peter Dinklage. Just James mentioned Peter Dinklage. We're going to talk about Just James. But that's the thing. We need, to, we need to accept the fact that our looks is not important when it comes to being a successful man. I know I've spoken about this before, but how you look is irrelevant. You know, how you look is irrelevant. Um, you know, we need to accept height is irrelevant. Most of these big guys now who are popular now, the kids are listening to are manlets as well. So all this stuff, we got to accept it. I am somebody who is on the YouTube to enjoy. I'm on YouTube to enjoy life. You know? I'm on YouTube to enjoy life, guys. You know, I'm trying to enjoy life. I'm not trying to be humiliated and subjugated for the rest of my life. Do I think Just James and Hiding in My Room are intimidated by me? The thing is with Just James and Hiding in My Room, they, Just James has something against me because of the fact that I'm calling him out on his BS. Just James doesn't like me. It's not a case where Just James... Uh, Just James has a dog shit car. Well, I mean, having a dog shit car doesn't necessarily mean, I mean, you can have a dog, but I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, I'm just trying to be honest about my life situation and say, you know, I know what it's like to be at the bottom making a hundred, you know, a thousand a month. I know what it's like to be that. But you got to put the, you see, I say there's no shortcut to success. There's no shortcut to success. Just James and Hiding in My Room want to pretend that they want to be successful. Just James and Hiding in My Room want to shortcut their way to success. Even Hiding in My Room, even his YouTube channel, he was pretending. He was pretending. You know, Hiding in My Room never produced the content, the quality kind of content that is required to become big on YouTube. He never produced the kind of content. Never. His content was poorly done. It was poorly made. And that's the thing. 
my content is not poorly done, guys. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Uh, but the stuff that I'm saying, the stuff that I'm saying is largely relevant. I gotta stay here because this rain is not gonna end if I if I go anywhere. My content is not irrelevant. My content is relevant in this manosphere, bro. Uh, so, what type of jobs should you look for? His channel could be big if he actually went outside of his comfort zone. No, he couldn't be big. He couldn't be big because to get to a certain level, you have to be likable. His channel only appeals to people with Asian fetish, bottom of the food chain. Think about it. How many people are bottom of the food chain? How many people have Asian fetish? How many people are in sales sex packs? You gotta have a mass appeal. Why are these channels so big? Because they have a mass appeal. Harold Balder and Bowden Bankrupt are appealing to the majority of the travel group. They're not appealing to, and they're appealing to people who don't want to travel. Let's talk about manlets. This guy is saying manlets on hide is not irrelevant. I believe uh, when's the Just James crypto video coming out this week? Hopefully, hide is not irrelevant. You yourself make fun of the manlets. Well, I make fun of the manlets because the insecurity to them. But I know that manlets, there's many manlets who are superior to me. I'm not deluding myself. You know, the biggest, let me tell you something. The biggest, most paid uh, fighter, Floyd Mayweather, is a manlet. Even when you go to the UFC, right, it's a manlet. Uh, Conor McGregor, he's a, it's a bit taller. Now, if you're on a, under a certain height... In the, in the combat sports, you can't make a lot of money. That's true. That's true. If you're under a certain high in the combat sports, you won't be able to make a lot of money. This is true. It's, it, there is truth to height. If you're like five foot tall, nobody wants to watch midgets fight. So there's truth to it, actually, that height does matter, but it's not a six feet thing at all. Okay, six feet is because if six feet was relevant, then you know why are these guys making Bezos is small. Bezos is small. there's a lot of small people out there. I can't even get out of this place. There's a lot of small people out there. Say Hudo is five foot three, and that's why he doesn't make a lot of money. Because he's a manlet. You might say that's a contradiction. It's not a contradiction because men want to see tall men fight each other. Men want to see the big Muhammad Ali, the, the, you know, the, the big guys fight each other. Men want to see that. If your main fan base is women, you can be a tiny little pipsqueak and get... And it's the opposite of what these guys say. These guys say... You got to be told to get women. No. Not at all. That's nothing to do with it. Anyways. So, uh, let's let's finish this. Actually, I might as well just try to get out of here. What's this update event info that's coming up? Who's cheering, bro? Like, what do I think about non-binary people? It's about getting women respect and opportunities. Halo effect from height. So you get more women than Floyd Mayweather. Then, come on now. Height has nothing to do with it. Otherwise, why is why is uh, uh, that Takashi guy who's about five foot four? Why is he even famous? You know. Now you can say that the. The, the powers that be put him there, but they're still, he's still popular, you know, he's still popular, and that's the thing, they pick people that they know that people are going to respond well to, why is everybody getting, why are manlets dominating, let's be honest, manlets are dominating tall people when it comes to making money, let's be honest, you know, let's be honest, I mean, 
Man, it's a, a dominating the game right now.